like I take like just even one of the gut like I just be like <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay okay you win all right have fun standing eight count <laughs> welcome back we're talking about how shitty it would be to be a boxer <laughs> as, well, much as, I, as much as I like boxing fuck no I ain't doing it I mean in our states yeah we would never we wouldn't last a moment <laughs> yeah. we'd get in there with Mike Tyson right now and he'd just be like Okay. I'm, I'm young. I'm 33 years old. Now's a good time to start my boxing career. <laughs> I, I still I have value. I don't think you're 33. I'm just saying, like, could you imagine, like, there's some guy out there who's like, I'm still young. I can do it. It's like, no. I'm 42. <laughs> I'm 42. Let's get to this. Oh, my back. <laughs> Let's do some road work. And then you're just like, <sighs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Screw you guys. Okay, I'm done. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like a bad back. They're fighting. They're they're not even at the main title or anything. It's the guy just baps him once. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, fuck it. Oh, damn it. Oh. Son of a bitch. Why? Why did I do this? <laughs> it pulls his back instantly. Oh. I mean, I was really excited when the training was going on, but I didn't think I'd be getting hit. Yeah, I thought that the whole thing was, you know, swing like a butterfly, sting like my pee. I th <laughs> so now he's got herpes too. Well, I mean, he was crazy back in <laughs> he was crazy back in his younger years. He was a crazy sex hound. Ow! <laughs> what the? Fuck oh, I happened? forgot that. I forgot that turret was up there. Yeah. Yeah, this part gets a little wild. Wild well, and crazy kids. <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna say. This is my favorite gun. See, I mean, like, but I, 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 uh, I do enjoy, uh... God damn it, oh are my you God. kidding? Where did that even come from? <laughs> from the door. I didn't even see where that came from. So Whoa! You know, are you all right, Gordon Freeman? That's the, uh, the bug talking. Yeah. <laughs> are you all right, Gordon Freeman? I got you an energy shake. It just turns out we antlions secrete energy shakes, kind of like Slurm. You ever see that episode of Futurama? Oh, no, it's a good episode. <laughs> Gordon Freeman's like, <laughs> thumbs up. Which actually reminds me, um, I was at work, and uh, Futurama's been playing. Yeah. Hold on. Ugh. Anyway, but yeah, Futurama's been playing. Get, can I get through the window? No, no, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Just, just go through the way you're supposed to. Anyway, so yeah, Future I was playing, and uh, the Creationist episode. I don't know if I know that one. Uh, it's the one that spawned the meme of, uh, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Oh, uh, okay. And, uh, he, he proves, you know, the, the missing link and everything like that. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, there's one person... At, uh... Oh, that was weird. That fucking... Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Alright, I got another one I gotta do. I think there's another one running somewhere. But yeah, there is one person that's pretty Christian. <laughs> that's and we're all sitting there laughing, being like... That's not funny. That's not funny, man. I don't... I don't what's so funny about that? <laughs> I remember the best line is, um... Just because you believe in something doesn't make it actually true. So says the giant uh, the god in the sky, or whatever the fuck he says. And that just makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, I don't really want to get into that sort of discussion on you. It's yeah. just like, uh, it's never a fun discussion to have. But, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, I mean, there's reasons to support both sides, you know. I mean, I, I don't really like to question people's, like, religious beliefs, because it's like, I don't know, I hate it when they do that to me. <clears throat> I had one time, I, I was uh, delivering, and a guy fucking asked me, like, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I'm like, yeah. I'm just ordering you a pizza, sir. I'm just delivering your pizza. It's like, I, I mean, you could just tip me nothing right now, and I could walk away, and you won't give me shit, and I'll be happy. But it's just like, no, he's gotta fucking be like, well, I gotta... It's like, how how often has that ever worked? Like, where some guy's like, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And then they're like, oh, well, you know what? I Maybe I should. 
Like, no, but that has never happened. I'm thinking you should have just said yes to get a bigger tip. That's what I would have done. No, he lives in Dow Street, which is like some fucking, it's like old people apartments. Oh. So yeah, if they're not going to give you any money, I say fuck it, don't, just, I'm just delivering you a pizza, sir. I, I made it a pack to myself, if I ever delivered to that guy again and he tried again, I'd be like, sir, just, I my just, dick. <laughs> sir, uh, I don't question your beliefs, and I would really appreciate it if you didn't question mine, uh, cause I'm wrong and you're right. <laughs> what? <laughs> just to make him feel better. Oh, know? Okay. But I totally don't believe what I just said. I'm not saying he's wrong, but I'm not saying I'm right. I just, you know, uh, me and religion don't mix. Kind of like uh, gravy and Skittles. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You don't like gravy and Skittles? Never had it. I'm, I'm sure it'd be all right. I'm sure it'd be okay. No, I don't think it would be. I think it'd be okay. I, I feel like the gravy would overpower the Skittles. Probably, but then and again, then the I mean, Skittles would overpower the gravy at the same time. I so it would well, just be a gonna, bunch of overpowering. I was going to say, I, I feel like the Skittles would probably have a good tang to them, whereas the gravy has its dull flavor. You would have to take all the Skittles and mash them up, and then put them in the gravy first. Oh, that'd be just a horrible, pasty. Shit. Because it wouldn't work. Hey, we're in jail. Damn it, this is where I wanted to stay out of. Shit. Yeah, it, it wouldn't work if you had just the skills inside, because you the the outside of skills doesn't taste like anything. It's just, you know. Well skills. just get a mouthful of gravy and then throw some skittles in there and then biggity bam, you got some uh But that's too much chewing and you'll all you'll taste is gravy for a while. You'll eat the gravy, get and then all you'll get is fucking Skittle after. Get a spoonful of sour Skittles, get a spoonful oh. of gravy, and then just... What kind of gravy are we talking about? Because I don't think <clears throat> beef gravy would work with this. Where's I you, don't think any kind Jimmy? of gravy would work. Where's I dream of Jimmy? Where would it be? So, uh, what? And then fucking antlion just... <laughs> <laughs> just like impales him and he's fucking dead. <laughs> well... I wonder how much differently everything's going to pan out now that he's not pulling the strings. And then you lose. You fail the game. See, this is where everybody's like, Huh, I don't need to knock these over because I can just walk right behind him. <laughs> but then you come out over there and then they shoot you. So fuck you, no. I'll knock you down. I'll knock you down. I'll knock you down. I'm going to put you in the water. I'm going to put you in the water turret. But don't you use it later? No. Not here. Oh, okay. Use them later, but not here. No. Yeah. Just carry them all with you, and then uh, give me that. You'll have even more. I remember in guides they always said like, or at least like, you remember the the game show Cheat? You yep. remember that? Yep. They always used to Good say show. they always used to, uh, and that's not to be confused with cheaters. This is a different. This is a video game show. Uh, sir, please stop <clears throat> touching my head. They always said distract the barnacles, and it's like, nah, I just shoot the fuck out of them. So I don't have to worry about distracting them. Remember, distract the barrel, of course. Or hey, they had, uh, what's her face? Kristen Holt on there. She, yeah. she didn't play video games. No, no, she didn't. <laughs> There's a lot of people the, who don't actually play video games who do video games. Stuff. Like like Bill Sindelar? Who the fuck is Bill Sindelar? Do you remember uh, Blister? It was like the one of the first shows. Like It was like the first lineup of shows uh, on G4 when it first came on the air. Bill Sindelar, Blister. It was basically like they just talked about action games. Like Bill Sindelar is just like I think they would kind of like interview people, like developers or something like that sometimes. And then like it was basically just a hey action gaming. Mm. Or um, no, I'm. I guess I'm just. I can't. maybe if you saw it, you'd remember. Yeah, it. yeah, I'd have or, to see. Or uh, Rossi Morielli. That one sounds more familiar. He was on Sweat. Which was all about uh, sports games. Ugh, sports games. And I understand like the market for that. You know, like the mar you know the uh, he he did something else too. Like he he's done other stuff besides that, like that show. But he was mainly on Sweat. Rossi Morielli, Corey Rouse was the original host for Cheat. Yep, I remember that. And I don't think he played video games either. Probably not. Quite frankly, he didn't really seem much the type. But he did seem a little bit more. Likely more believable than Chris, uh, Kristen Hill. Yeah, it, it seems like to me, this is like the progression of G four. It was 
journalists who had interest in video games and some that were just good journalists. Mm. And then it became more people who actually played the games. And then they brought in a whole bunch of people that were just for eye candy, basically. <laughs> Whoa, that didn't happen twice. Yeah, well, most of and them then were. clearly like, didn't play games. I again. think, like, Morgan Webb was definitely like that on X-Play. I kind of feel like she was... I, I think she was a little bit more involved with it, but still not too much. Yeah. She was no Adam. No, Adam actually knew what he was talking about. Adam always knows what he's talking about. I miss him. <clears throat> Except for that one... Have you seen that one? I don't need to bring this up now either, but... Uh, there's this one video that's been circling around. Like, I'm sure you've heard of Anita Sarkeesian before, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and how she's, like, so, like, feminist that it's, like, kind of ridiculous. Yeah. He was on one of those, like, they did, like, a PSA sort of thing or something like that about uh, the 25 invisible uh, advantages of being a white male gamer or something like that. And it's, like, a total crack of shit. Like, I watched this one video of this guy basically debunking every single one of those things. And it it's it's a really bad list. But un unfortunately, Adam Sessler's on it. And it's just like, come on, man, you're better than this. What do you mean, like, he was on it? Like, it's basically like, uh, they've got, like, these 25 different things, like, these 25 different, like, uh, perks or, you know, like, invisible, like, privileges of being a white, straight male gamer. It would be like, uh, you don't get hit on. It's a bunch of shit. You'd have to actually watch it for me, yeah. for you to understand, like, what they're talking about. Most of it's bullshit. It okay. doesn't, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, I understand some of, like, where they're coming from, but most of it's bullshit. And it's basically each point is told by a different white male, and Adam Sessler is one of them. And even Tim Schafer of Double Fine Games is on there, too. You know, the guy behind uh, Psychonauts and Grim and shit like that. Oh! Well, that seems like an Adam thing to do. Yeah, it's but very... it's like, but you could tell he, I don't, I don't know if he actually meant any of what he said. I think he's just saying it because they put a fucking cue card in front of him. I, I could feel, it. it, sometimes it's really different with him. You could either say that, yeah, I think he, he has always, um, <laughs> he's always been very opinionated about things. Oh yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know, it's just like. And sometimes you can tell that he's just kind of phoning it in. Well, that was definitely one of his phoning it in things. But I think, I do believe, in some sense, he lost a lot of credibility with people when he said that Gone Home was his fucking like, favorite game. Or oh, whatever. yeah. That was... That uh, was absolutely... That's a terrible ludicrous. fucking game. <laughs> like, I just don't... I don't know. I actually did play it, finally. Did you really? Well, what'd you think? Shit. It was boring. <clears throat> and do you... I mean, I kind of I already knew like, the ending and everything like that. Yeah. But it just... I was gonna say, like, I kind of feel like maybe it's a little unfair because it's like you already have like a yeah, I already have it. a bias to, towards it, but <sighs> shit, I'm gonna fucking die. Yes. But yeah, it's it's not like it's terrible or anything. It's Here just we. not what it, it it didn't deserve all of the praise that it got. Uh, I mean, like, I don't know. I can understand it kind of being kind of a cool thing because it's like a first-person narrative thing, but, like, I don't know. It's like, if you had, like, a skewed, like, idea of what it was going in, then you're not going to be happy with it. It's kind of, I kind of feel like it might have been just one of those things where it's like people go in expecting one thing, but then they get something completely different. Like, yeah. <clears throat> like, if you had known that it was going to be kind of like a first-person narrative thing, then it probably wouldn't have been bad, but I remember Mitch said he played it, and it was kind of like he was expecting, like, some kind of like, weird shit to happen. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, like, kind of like a horror game. Yeah. Almost. Because it's like you're going through this empty house or whatever, and you're uncovering all this shit, and then, like, nothing happens. Yeah. It's like, okay. It almost feels like it's a fucking, like, like an art film from, like, France or something. Yeah, that's the thing. And I really don't care for, like, extreme art stuff like that. There's, here and there, uh, I do like it. <clears throat> I can deal with it, but I mean, maybe, I feel like something like that would have been probably better if it played out as a fucking film as opposed to a game. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't mean, know, I never played yeah, that. But if I came in thinking exactly what it actually was, yeah, you'd I feel like it'd You'd be... probably at least, like, you know, give it a little bit of, like, credit for what it what it does. You guys are gonna fucking... Okay. Okay, well, you're replaceable. <clears throat> I don't know. Point is, is that, in, that like, I don't know. We got we were kind of <laughs> talking about the Anita Sarkeesian thing and all that shit. She's a mess, man. I don't really know too much about like what she's doing, but I know that she's kind of 
not, she not, got a lot of hate her way. I think with good reason, honestly, because it's like she's. It's not. <clears throat> I don't really feel like I don't know. Monster. Well, I always well I always do that there. I don't know. A lot of and the, the thing that I find funny about it though is like a lot of female gamers are totally against her too because they're like, that's we don't need help. Like we are fine. Well, yeah. There's always going to be <laughs> those kind. I mean, if you take the man version, where people are like the male patriarchy and stuff like that, oh, yeah. I'm against that. Yeah. No, there's always <laughs> real quick though before we end the episode. Yep. There was one funny thing in that one guy's video that uh, critiquing the 25 thing or whatever. <laughs> one of the guys said, um, "When I go into public, you know, at like a con or something like that, I'm not uh, catcalled or uh, propositioned for sex by anybody else, like by other uh, male gamers or like other gamers in general." And then the guy is like. Oh, I didn't know that other white male gamers don't proposition other white male gamers for sex. <laughs> like, straight white men don't ask other straight white men for sex. <laughs> and it's like, that's totally true. It's funny. Because <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, maybe in a sarcastic way, but not like... <laughs> like, I come up to you and kind of be like, Hey, babe, you want to fuck? It's like... <laughs> I, re I really <laughs> like... I really like your Master Chief outfit, man. You want to you want to bang? I bet they are. I got nothing for you, except my dick. <laughs>